In this tutorial, we present a C Sharp console application that connects to the web API that we have done in the previous tutorial. This app will first obtain a JWT token by sending its login credentials in a basic authorization header and then it will use that token in a bearer header to obtain authorization to the second API protected by JWT authorization. Please go through the previous tutorial where we have explained both the APIs. Create a simple c -sharp console application and install the newtonsoft.json NuGet package for including support for JSON. And let's recall from the previous tutorial that we have added two web API. The first endpoint is slash token. The first API is protected by a basic authorization scheme. So the caller app has to send his login ID and password in an authorization header. This API sends a JWT token in a JSON property called access underscore token. The second API is slash info. It is, all, it is protected by JWT authorization. The caller has to send a valid JWT token in a bearer header. Once he is authenticated, the handler executes and sends a welcome message. And next I will come to the source code. You can obtain the program.cs file of the client application from the downloads attached to this video. Open the program.cs file and let's examine it line by line. First we have the URL of the server application. After that an HTTP client has been created. We have to send a basic header containing user id and password. This is the same pair of user id and password that we hard coded when we implemented basic authentication in the attached web api project. And after that we have created an authorization header with the basic scheme. And after that a get request is sent to obtain the JWT token. The ensure success code function throws an exception if the response code is not 200 OK. After that the JSON response string is read from the response. It contains the JWT token in a property called access underscore token. And then JSON deserialization is done to obtain the JWT token and then in the next line it is displayed as a debug output. And after that the JWT token is set as a bearer authorization header. An HTTP GET request is finally made to the info endpoint. The response string is then displayed on the console. And now let's test the project. First of all run the web API project and allow the home page to open. This ensures that the web API is now listening for requests. Both these projects are available in the downloads attached to this tutorial so you can obtain them there. And after that run the console application with control plus F5. If everything goes fine you will see the messages from the two API calls. The first containing the JWT token and the second containing a welcome message. JWT authorization has thus been tested ok. Thank you.